You don't have to get 40 acres out in the country. It's okay if you live in the city. There are things that you can be doing right now. You need to be increasing your health. It's just as simple as changing your mindset. Don't be fearful, but please do something right now. It's been negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit on the homestead and it's really cold. So we've been taking turns coming out and just making sure everything's going well in the barn with the animals. This is like the coldest it's gonna get all winter here. It's the coldest it's gotten in several winters. But I wanted to take a few minutes, you guys, to talk to you about something that I'm hearing a lot right now in the homesteading world. I've got a lot of people telling me, you know, I really want to homestead. I really want to do all these things. I really feel like I should be increasing my self-sufficiency right now. But people have a lot of excuses as to why they haven't started. It usually is followed up with a sentence like, so when I get my homestead or next year, or next summer, or there's always this idea that homesteading is going to start later like later when later i don't know when later is because there's always a reason not to start you guys i really really encourage you with everything that's going on in the world don't be fearful but please do something right now it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be ideal you don't have to get 40 acres out in the country it's okay if you live in the city there are things that you can be doing right now you need to be increasing your health get healthy increase your immune system, start eating better, kick out those bad habits that you know that you have, take your health seriously, but also start taking steps towards being more resilient. You really need to do this right now. And you don't have to wait until you can do something perfect. In fact, you know what? Come here, let's show you something. Oh. You guys have to see this. This is not what I was gonna show you, but I'm so sad. My favorite cafe table got crunched under like three and a half feet of snow. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do there because I love my cafe table. Doesn't look like much right now. In fact, it looks like a wreck. This is the chickadee feeding ground for winter. They're out here all the time, still eating off the standing plants, but this is going to be the herb garden. It's gonna come back beautiful. We got another month or two and then it's gonna be green and lush. And at the moment, it kind of feels like a wasteland and a junkyard. <laughs> You guys have seen my pantry before but this is what I want to show you right here is this side of my pantry and this is the side where I stock things with store-bought foods you know I'm really into health I love my health foods I love the organic healthy things I get a lot of things from bulk from Azure Standard but you guys I'm also a realist we need to have our shelves stocked I mean look at what I've got in here I've got cheap signature select spaghetti. I mean, this stuff is not a health food. Let's just say it, call it out. I've got, oh, look at this. I have good old fashioned Prego pizza sauce. You guys don't let being an idealist stop you from doing something. You need to get some food on your shelf. Even if all you can afford is the not great stuff from the grocery store right now, it's better than nothing. Please take steps today. If you're not starting to live more resiliently, do it today. You don't need to wait. It's just as simple as changing your mindset and actually doing something to be prepared for the future and starting to take back control of your own food supply and your own health. And you can start that right now. 
as in today. Check out this video that I have on how to properly store bulk purchased grains. Yes, you can go buy these things and you can store them. You don't need to grow them. You don't need to preserve them yourself. Check out this video right here so you know how to do it properly.